What's up guys, this is DDP and today I'm going to give you a little bit of a treat, a little bit of something something. In case you forgot just how good Dirk was, I wanted to give a little bit of focus and show a little bit of love to not, not just 2011 Dirk, right? We know how great championship Dirk was. I want to show you Dirk early in his career and I actually am able to do that in this case. I did not compile this video. So shout out to SB Nation, specifically MavsMoneyBall.com, who put this together. They've been releasing a series of these videos in the lead up to the season. I'm not gonna lie, it's setting in now that it's gonna be my first NBA season without Dirk Nowitzki coming up. And I'm a little shaken, I'm a little shook, as excited as I am for Luca and KP. This is a little bit surreal and I'm not quite digging it but these videos are helping me a little bit letting me appreciate the goat in his true form in his early baby goat years as it were and so i'm gonna play this i'm gonna give you my reactions i'm gonna sprinkle out some of these now because we're in a relatively dead period as far as nba news is concerned so i think this is a way to kind of bridge the gap as we go into the season you'll get some vintage stuff not just dirk You'll get uh, player profile stuff as well, where you see some more DeLon Wright in action, where you see Seth Curry in action, where you see Isaiah Roby, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, let's get going. SB Nation, Mavs Moneyball. Nash on the break. Ooh. Dirk with the layup in transition. I like it. It's weird to me looking back at just how crappy the digital media was back then in 03. It's, oh, God, that is a dramatic fadeaway. All right, so this is game three of the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, this is the year. This was actually the first season that I really watched every Mavericks game. So Steve Nash, Dirk Nowitzki, that was my jam. Nash with the no look, Dirk with the jam. I like it. Uh, Dallas goes up 3-0 in this series. Spoilers. Nick Van Exel, another, the original uh, Jet there with 31. I like it. But Dallas went up 3-0 in this series, and a very good Portland team rallied all the way back. This is Portland with Scottie Pippen, Rasheed Wallace. Uh, if you know DeMontis Sabonis now, a reigning uh, six-man candidate in the NBA off the Pacers. His dad's actually on this team. And this is a very talented, there's Sabonis right there actually. This is a very talented Portland team. They rally all the way back before Dallas eventually closed it out in seven. Dallas would get then into a seven game just brawl with the uh, Sacramento Kings and a fantastic Kings team that just never quite got over that hump. And then they, because of a Dirk MCL sprain in the Western Conference Finals, go down to the Spurs in six. They beat the eventual champion, or eventual uh, Eastern Conference champion, New Jersey Nets, I almost said Brooklyn, uh, led by Jason Kidd. Fun fact. So Dirk's starting hot here, man. Mavericks 8 of 15 on three. Donnie Nelson's system was so far ahead of its time. Dirk with the almost and one. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda miss these Maverick road uniforms, primarily navy blue. Look at Dirk out on the break, forcing Rasheed Wallace to foul him. Dude, dude was a beast. Dirk spots up at the elbow. Booyah. Ooh. He just never gets tired. Of facing guys up. Steve Nash in a Mavs jersey is almost no surreal at this like, point. There's so there's Don Nelson. So Dirk Rock in the Shall goatee, the otherwise clean shaven. Dirk at the elbow. This is the play before. That's on a young Zach Randolph, no less. Nash with the swing pass. Dirk gets in, breaks it down, fades on two men, and he's got it. Got him. Van Exel passes. Bradley underneath. Swings it to a wide open Dirk for three. Man, that is lethal. So Dirk, he just said, uh, Bill Walton there just said in game one, Dirk had 46. Dirk on another spot of three. Good God, man. I know, I know KP is called the unicorn, but let's be real. The unicorn trend kind of started with Dirk. I know you had obviously uh, shooters before him, but in terms of seven footers doing this stuff, it's Dirk, man. 
Nash with a swing pass to the corner again. Dirk splash again. And this is still a close game. 102 94. Again, no team had ever no no team has ever come back from 3-0. So this is Portland fighting for their damn lives at this point. And Dirk is Dirk is not single-handedly, but largely being the powering force behind putting them in a 3-0 death hole, basically. 102-94 Dallas here. Well, the Sprite mad skills is not to make him mad if you're the opposition. Look at it, number 41 shooting the basketball. He's seven feet tall. It's a little bit freakish watching him shoot when he gets in a groove that he's in right this now. This is so great. He's hit him from all over the floor, including the last one, a three from the left baseline off the beat from Nash. That's given him I was hoping they would. 37 points. There you go. 37 points quarter. at this point for Dirk, Dirk in this game. Of 18 from the floor. There it is. 26 points Smash. through the first three, and then 11 already in the fourth. Man, oh man, he's shooting. He's shooting just an absurd percentage. Wow. Well, Backdoor cut for the jam from Van Exel. I like it. That sometimes they get in that situation and everything they do turns to gold. This was a big Dallas lineup, too. Oh, Mavericks with the strip. Nash in transition. And one. And one in transition. I'm sorry, Mo Cheeks. It's not working. It's not happening for you. Dirk, the way he ran the floor at seven feet tall was just insane. Never much of a leaper, but uh, you don't got to be when you got the footwork, when you got the ability to create space. I like Nash with the awkward hook pass. Dirk takes the contact, flips it up and in. That's a nice finish. 41 points for Dirk on the game now. This is pretty, pretty impressive. So 115-103, Dallas gets this win. Dirk ends up with 42 points. In this series through three games, Dirk was averaging 37.7 points on 54% shooting and 9.7 rebounds a game. This is why I said even before he got league-wide respect, Dirk was the goat. Oh, here he is talking with uh, David Aldridge. Hear what he has to say. Uh, I think so, but you know what? Uh, they left me open a lot. Of I think we had a great ball moving today. Uh, everyone was shooting the ball boards. extremely well. And we were just looking for the open guy. I think Rafe made every shot. Steve was on fire, and, and Nick came up, made shots, Mike. And so if we move the ball offensively, we should be in good shape. You all did a great job in, in the first quarter establishing, getting out and running. And then you beat him in the half court. What is it that you think you have the advantage? You know what? I'm trying to think uh, of how old he even is uh, here. He came into the league at like 18. Uh, on the offensive glass and, uh, I think by the time know, he finally played, like he was almost 19. Because it was February and his birthday's in June. Really was upset with us. And we just so yeah, at that point, you're probably better, looking at and, uh, Dirk at like 23. 22, 23 years old here. And rebound, I think uh, we, can, we can match everyone. Now you're up 3-0. Obviously, you want to finish this thing on Sunday. How do you approach it? <laughs> they did not oh, finish we, it Sunday. You no, know, you got to win now. We got to win everything now. Uh, I mean... We got to approach the same way as we did the first three and uh, see if it works out. Uh, you know, we don't want to give them any life, any energy, any emotion. So we want to make sure we come out the same way and uh, hopefully close it out. Eric, thanks very much. Congratulations. Hmm. Yeah, man, this is a uh, this is an awesome nostalgic, nostalgic uh, game to go back through for me here. Let me see. I'm trying to find just a still or something. Just can't do Trying to get a, uh, there you go. No, never mind. I tried. Anyway, yeah, this is a uh, vintage Dirk here. Baby goat in action. And man, oh man, 37.7 points, 54% shooting. I know it ended up going to seven in the series, but Dirk was just unreal. And uh, it's going to suck not watching them this season with Luca and KP. But you know what? It's all right. We got 21 seasons with the goat. And uh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it all right in the future. He's left us in good hands, I think. So, I'm gonna do some more of these video guys, videos, as it were. Uh, if you like this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're gonna be rolling out more of these just from time to time, sprinkling them in. I think. I think that's a way to kind of bridge the gap until we get into camp and into basketball season for real. October 23rd is a Wednesday night. It's opening night for the Mavericks. So, so I'm looking forward to it. But until next time, guys, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Salute.